Hey everyone, I'm a channel player called Wicked, and today I will teach you about when to pick Renekton, when not to pick Renekton, and the times where I think it's okay to pick Renekton, but he's not optimal. Alright, now let's get into it. So first we're gonna start with the hard matchups. The first one we got to talk about is Quinn the Flying Bird. Now, the problem with Quinn is you can actually beat a Quinn, but it's only if the Quinn has high ping because you can dash into her, use your Q and dash back, and sometimes you can even get your stun off before you dash back as well, before she reacts with her jump. That's possible in a lot of situations if you're playing against a Quinn with a higher ping. If you got extremely low ping and she's very good at the game, then she won't be able to beat her and she's going to slowly beat you out. She's going to poke you forever in the laning phase and then once you get to middle and late game, she's going to push you in, group the team, push you in, group the team, push you in and group the team and kill your teammates. So against the Great Queen, it's a really awful matchup. Next up, we have Teemo, the annoying mushroom master. Teemo is a champ that's extremely difficult for running time because he pushes you in early, which you don't want to happen, and then he pokes you forever and he's also ranged. And if you ever decide to go on him, he's gonna blind you, he stops your W from working, and he slowly whittles you down with his damage. And also after level 6, he can put out mushrooms everywhere. The mushrooms slow you, and then he keeps poking you all the time until the slow is over, and then he can blind you when you W, and you can't really do anything about it. So that's another matchup that you really want to try and avoid. Third champ we have, Ilaoi. So Ilaoi is a pretty interesting champion. If she gets slightly ahead, she's gonna dumpster you in lane. You won't be able to do anything to her. However, if you're actually within the lane phase against her, if you're slightly ahead, you can kill her. But the problem is she can turn around fights really well after six with her E, ultimate, and then just W smash. And then once it gets to team fight, that's the worst part. You're an extremely huge target. It's very easy for her to grab you. Once she grabs you, she's gonna use her ultimate. It's gonna hit everyone on the team, and it's gonna do a ton of damage. Ilaoi excels against champions like Renekton, who's a slow mobility champion that needs to walk into her. All right, next up we have Garen, one of the monsters in low elo. He's a very scary champion. Now the problem with Garen is he got a lot of hidden damage, and people don't actually know how much damage he have. So he often ends up snowballing against players like Renekton because Renekton players believe they're stronger than him and they don't respect him enough. And then he takes off of the game. And once he's ahead, there's not much he can do anymore. A lot of Garen's also choose to play the Ignite because it's a lot easier to get kills that way, which is also good against Renekton because it reduces your healing from your Q. Overall, it's another matchup that you'd probably want to avoid. It's pretty difficult, there's no reason to play it, and you can pick much better champions into Garen. Alright, last but not least in the hard matchups, we have Gnar. This guy is a terror. The biggest problem with Gnar is he pokes you forever in the laning phase, you can actually win, but it's pretty difficult to do so. However, once you get out of the laning phase, Gnar is going to build a frozen mallet if he's good, and then he's going to slow you forever and kite you forever and you can't really do anything against him. And in teamfights, Gnar is also great against you because he wants people to walk into him. He's hitting you a small form, he gets his big form, he jumps into you and then he smashes you into a wall. Together with your teammates and it's a pretty bad spot to be in. Alright, now something much more exciting. We're going to get to the medium matchups. These matchups are times where you do want to pick Rennington if you're comfortable by playing him. The first one is Set. So as a champion with finesse and skill, you can beat him in the laning phase. And then I believe you outscale him, especially because of your E ability. If you read the E ability, you can reduce people's armor by using the empowered version. And that's amazing in team fights against tanky champions like Set and other things that the team might have. So Renekton, of all in my opinion, outscales Sets and have an even laning phase, especially with the new blade that win King. You should be good to go. Next up we have Darius. This one is extremely hard to play, but it's not a bad matchup at all. If you play Renekton perfect, you can beat a Darius player. But the problem is it's very hard to do. However, one advantage Renekton have is it's much easier to gank a Darius than it is to gank a Renekton. Renekton have two jumps away as long as you don't get apprehended. Darius doesn't have any dashes, he cannot get away. And a lot of Darius players don't even have teleport. So if you manage to get one kill on him with a jungler, he's destroyed. He can't do anything for a long time. You just have to respect his passive stacks, make sure he can E out if he's trying to kill you, and then mostly you'll be fine. Also, a small tip you can do against Darius is to go draw and shield because it works fantastic against his passive. Next up, we have Monica. I know an even matchup, but I like to say that Renekton have the advantage if you play perfect, but most people don't. Now, the idea is that against the Monica, so you just want to avoid him hitting you three times in a row. As long as he doesn't proc his passive and you're not fighting while he's having the passive up, you actually win every trade. You can bait out his Q with the minions, whenever you manage to bait it out, you can actually go in on him and then you can start beating him up because you're a lot stronger than him. Also, you have an E ability to avoid his dragging back ability, which he can place on the ground. It's very easy to avoid for you, and overall, you should be winning this matchup. Next up, we have Shen. This matchup is mostly in lower ELOs, and most ELOs is actually pretty easy for Renekton. The only ones that get really difficult is in Challenger ELO whether the Shen decides to take Ignite and actually play super aggressive against you. But if the Shen doesn't play extremely aggressive, you can just spam Q all the time, heal his damage up, and you'll be completely fine. Once you get played the Ring King, you should be able to beat him. He can't do much against you, and you'll just take that matchup easy. Hi, right, next up we have Jax, one of my favorite champions of all times. This is actually a 100% skill matchup. 
you can beat him. Your goal is to do small trades, but you use your Q all the time to heal up. And you have better sustain than him, so you actually win long fight. But even fights, he should win them. If you W, he's stunned, he's gonna kill you. But if you don't use W, he can't really use stun either. And if he does stun, you can E away from the stun, maybe towards his tower, and then you can finish more of the W in your auto attacks. There's a lot of ways you can outplay the matchup, and something you should probably try a couple of times before you get it perfect. All right, guys, now we get to the easy matchup. So, an easy matchup, Riven. Start W, smack every single time she walks up to minions, and you're gonna dominate her. She can't do anything against you if you play properly. It's W, smack, 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 walk back, W, smack, 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 walk back. It's really easy. Do the same thing over and over, and once you're sick, you're even stronger, and you're gonna shit on her even harder. So, when you play against a Riven, be aggressive, be confident, and just destroy him. It's very easy for you. Second easy matchup is one of my most iconic champions, Aurelia. Now, you beat Aurelia at all times, but the problem is, if you're not confident, then she will actually be able to beat you. Now, what you want to look out for is the five stacks. Five stacks is scary. After level six, what you want to do is push in, leave the lane, push in, leave the lane, or hide, for example, do something else. Because the idea is, if you're pushing all the time after six, she can't really get to her stacks because she needs the minions to be low and they're not going to be low on one wave. The problem is when people try and delay their push and they don't just shove in every single wave, then you stack up two waves, a lot of minions are going to be low on health, so you can jump on them, she gets those five stacks and she can try and all in you. It's very difficult to do if you're smashing in every single wave. And whenever there's not a wave, you're much stronger than her and she can't do anything against you. All right, next up we have Silas. Silas is pretty annoying top lane and he happens to be there a lot, but Rennington is actually great against it. Now you can get executioners calling against him to stop his W from healing up. Oh, all this is a matchup you should be pretty comfortable about. You win it pretty easy. All you gotta do is be confident, aggressive, and smack him every single time he walks up because you will win those fights. You also have a lot of sustain in your Q, which is no problem. Just make sure you actually use your abilities and you keep on pushing him in because you don't want to be sitting back and just chilling against him. There's no need for that because as Rennington, when you have pressure, you can roam, you can go to mid, you can do the crap. There's a lot of options for you. Uh, next up guys, we have Yasuo, one of the champions that a lot of people hate. I actually have a guy on him as well. Now Yasuo is a champion, you're going to be stronger than at all times. Once you get played, you just run him down. What you got to be confident about is stand in the minions, don't just let him get them. Now one trick to do is when you go up and last hit the minion, start step before you last hit, he's going to try and queue it, he misses the queue, and then you can go for a trade. It's very important that you actually try and bait out his Qs because else you can lose. This is a super easy matchup as long as you play it properly. But if you don't bait out those Qs and you just tank them, you're going to lose that matchup. Alright, now we have the last one. It's Ryze. Everybody hates ranged top laners, but Ryze is actually a super easy ranged top laner to beat as Rennington. Push him in all the time. You can jump in with E, poke him with Q, maybe stun potentially, and jump back. You do that trade over and over and over again. You're not looking to one-shot him because he will win long fights potentially. What you're looking to do is do all the small trades over and over and over again. And then you're going to win against him. Obviously, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to be stuck with a minion wave right in front of his tower. So be careful about that one. But as long as you're not in that position, you should win this matchup super easy. And then you should snowball extremely hard. Plus, if you get some jungle ganks, well, Rice is extremely easy to kill. So bada-bim-bada-boom, he's dead. 